Hi Collective, welcome to the channel, Cosmic Divine Dreamer. Hi everyone. So I'm doing a tarot reading with the Enchanted Soul. We're going to take a look at current energies, what could be hidden, what the current influences, um, some advice, and find out what's going on here. So um, I felt guided to this beautiful deck. It's like my biggest tarot deck that I have. It's blue and gold gilding. It's so beautiful. And I only really ever use this deck when I'm connecting with strong love energies, soulmates, like twin flames, really divine counterpart energies. In my oracle reading that um, I was just doing, there was a lot of emphasis on unity. So it doesn't surprise me that, and I had pulled this before I even pulled the oracle. So anyway, it's definitely going to be about high level love connections. Let's see what the current energies are. Wow, this current situation is under judgment. Somebody's needing to make a decision here. Three of coins, yeah, see, there's a third party. Somebody, <laughs> there's some sort of love triangle, like, um, you know, of course, we're going to find out more. Ooh, this has to do with true love. So we're going to, we're going to find out more as we go, but there, there's a choice to be had here. It could just be... You know, sometimes third party, right? Could be somebody like deciding to pick career, business over love, right? It's not always another lover, so don't always go there, right? I know when we hear third party and decision in love. Hmm. Well, let's see. The moon. There's definitely secrets here. Advice from spirit is interesting. Because this is where it's actually advising you to be secretive with your plans in a way. But to let go of fear and illusions, but keep things kind of hidden. Like, don't tell everybody your plans. This is something that, like, you need to figure out. I feel this choice, whatever this is, like it's already came in. This is my recent past position. So this is something somebody's been contemplating. So somebody's been... Judgment's being called in this situation because somebody, somebody's went through some sort of awakening, had some sort of transformation, you know, resurrection. This could have been like the fresh start or like new beginning to something. And this is where somebody's like deciding whether or not it's working or not. I was going to say, I filled two pages here. Page of coins, page of um, cups. There could be children involved with this younger um, energy here. Oh, perspective. Hmm. That's the who. The devil's the outcome here. See, there's a letting go of an, of a toxic situation where there was a lot of control. There could have been addictions, temptation, materialism. There was some sort of blockage here. Somebody's getting a new perspective that they're putting too much time and energy maybe into a person or a way of thinking or some sort of addiction. Somebody... You know, someone that's focused too much on the, on the material or too much on business, too much on working, right? Too much of anything is unhealthy. So um, I'm seeing a block here, but I mean, I feel it has been a blockage. And I feel that has, I'm saying has been, it's like somebody is like, they're fully much aware of this. Like it's not blocking me anymore is what I feel. Um, somebody is fully aware of whatever this is and they're blocking it out now. They're overcoming it. They're they're um, rising above this. Let's judge me in here. Ten of Cups. Yeah, this has to do with family. This decision is over somebody's ultimate happiness. Let's buy three coins. Eight of Cups, sees this, um, that's why I'm feeling this work energy here, right? Because the Eight of Cups is about working, collaboration, you know, with others. <sighs> but see, there's this leaving past behind, abandonment, weariness, breakup, moving on with the Eight of Cups. Look at the Ace of Cups. Six of Coins. Something from the past. 
Ace of Cups is something new creation, potential love, possibilities, overwhelming emotions. Six of Coins can also be charity exchange, bumblance, handouts, welfare, sharing, generosity, assistance. Somebody could be getting offered something new, given something new. Wow, Ten of Coins. Home, family, stability, security, inheritance with this page of cups. There could be messages on this coming. The king of cups jumped right out with that. Well, there is somebody very caring that's coming in with some sort of, wow. That was, see, I was seeing the six of, I was feeling the six of cups when I was seeing the six of coins. A very, very balanced love connection is coming in. It's being hidden. There's past, because this is something from the past. Mm -hmm. Divine's guiding something in, I told you, but they're guiding it from within. Like, you're going to be getting realizations, downloads, things like that, what this is, like, within. Like, you could be getting intuitive hits about this, more so intuitively instead of in the physical. Another emphasis on the two. Two of Wands, two of Swords. This is like a, a hard decision to make. It's kind of a hard decision. Wow, Six of Wands with the Emperor. That's victory, success, it's admirization. And you've taken authority over your, over your life. I feel it's drawn attention to an emperor. What is all of this? The tower with four of cups. The death. Yeah, something is very shocking that it's over. Somebody's going to be very shocked. Something is over because somebody just manifested something new. Timeline shift. Somebody, somebody manifested something new. Nine of coins. That's a luxury abundance. Somebody could be getting a very lavish, like, very... <laughs> yeah, it's going to trigger some sort of ending because it's like, boom, a new beginning, a new foundation is here. So it's closing something out. Yeah, there's an emperor that's been keeping an eye. It's like somebody's been in this energy, right? And they've attracted an, an emperor, a boss, <laughs> a boss energy. Yeah, look, king of coins. King of coins over this king of cups. So, yeah, this... Yeah. I feel um, there's just there's definitely a choice here oh my gosh someone's really gonna have to be in their power really communicate and strategize with the queen of swords they need to walk away from something wow the wheel of destiny is here I told oh my gosh the magician this is a very powerful connection ooh four of coins there could have been spell work done here um Somebody could be holding or controlling somebody with money resources. Somebody trying to buy somebody's love. Be careful of like love bombing and things like that. I feel this is a challenging situation, but things are going to happen fast. Another two. See, I've been seeing something with the twos. The last reading I was talking about, two, two, two. So here's the two of coins. And I've got the two of, of um, swords mm -hmm. and the two of wands. Ah, the lovers. Six of Wands. Ah, the Empress. Damn. See, there's competition because it's right next to the Five of Wands. Damn. And this is a high level connection. Didn't I say that? Emperor, Empress level. It's meant for these two. This is very powerful energies. Yeah. High Priestess is here. Strong intuition. Yeah. <laughs> It's like, ooh, this, this is beautiful. This, this is like undeniable, this level. <laughs> it's jumping anything in the physical. Wow. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Some things are just too powerful. They're, they're going to trump things. Um. <laughs> yeah. Look, he's seen that hermit. Um. This emperor is coming out with this king of coins. Could be some of strong earth placements. Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. Hmm. Mature male, a businessman, an entrepreneur, a provider, a master, successful father, reliable boss. There's a boss-like energy given it. <laughs> wow. Let's get one more to clarify this devil. And I'm going to close this reading. I'm keeping them short. I've got some things to do. 
It's a love and light to all of you. Definitely watch more readings. Subscribe to the channel if you have not. This is devil. Wow, damn. Well, that devil is dirty. <laughs> Seven of Swords, lies, deception, betrayal, so treachery, sneakiness, plotting, cheating, theft. It's a pig energy. Mm -mm. So it, you're getting justice. Oh, hell yes, yeah, the Wheel of Destiny. See, so you're getting a divine lover. You ain't playing with this clown no more. Resources could be getting depleted. Five coins. You're not playing with this devil anymore. Divine overseen this, and it's done. Yeah. <laughs> Justice, leaving it there. Love and light to all of you. Bye, guys.